Alright guys, we're back for another part of the head sculpting tutorial. This is part two, so we'll just keep going where we left off. Just keep refining on this level here till we get what we want. And I think we, we're just about done with this level, so let's keep going. And now I want to start adding the impressions of the eyes, nose, and uh, on the next one we'll start adding the mouth. So let's go to draw here. And let's turn the size down by pressing F, scaling down about there. Then you want to press Shift F, and let's go ahead and turn the strength up like that. And you want to hold Shift and just start bringing in the eye holes here. And it doesn't look good now, but uh, I'll show you how to refine it later. Now we're just going to add in uh, a basis. Actually, let's Control Z that and press Shift F. We don't want it to be that strong. Um, that's good for an impression of the nose. Right there, we don't want it to be too great. And we'll just add grab and just refine it there. And I am making a character, not a, uh, we're not going for a photorealistic head or anything like that. I'm trying, I'm going to be trying to make a character. So now let's go ahead and start adding, uh, bringing out the cheekbones. It's good to know your anatomy just a little bit for things like uh, this. If you'll know there's a the temple right about there. Just, uh, we'll go ahead and uh, bring in the cheeks a little bit. Go ahead and bring out the chin. Mm, that might be a little too big for this character. Okay. And by the way, this is just the way that I sculpt. There's no right way to sculpt as long as you get a, a very uh, nice result. All right, let's go back to multi-rest. Let's just uh, dock multi-rest into his own thing so we can see it here. <clears throat> okay, let's go ahead and add one more level. Now we can uh, continue refining what we already have here. Let's bring out the brows a little bit. Uh, yeah. Alright, so now let's start bringing out the lips. And uh, by the way, with Blender, um, I do have a tablet, but uh, two things. Number one, my tablet doesn't seem to react to the pressure sensitivity settings in Blender, so uh, there's no real point. And another thing I find using a tablet uh, way too awkward. It doesn't feel natural at all with uh, Blender, so just gonna use my mouse and we can get a pretty nice result with this All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is um, usually when I sculpt in ZBrush I concave a mouth hole and then after I, uh, I mask off the top part and then I bring the lower lip up and then I just refine the lips <coughs> but uh, in this case it won't look good so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna bring out one lip and then we're gonna bring out the other one and then we're going to hold shift and bring in the edge part there. Okay, and that may look uh, horrible now, but later on it will look like a lot better. And I'll show you how to get nice looking lips with this. So, And that's just for the impression. Once we get up to our next level, we'll start refining some more. Let's go ahead and uh, slim down his nose here. And another great thing about um, sculpting is that if you want to, you can go ahead and sculpt in uh, some very nice emotions. Okay, just refining here, making this look a little better. Bringing this in. Let's go ahead and scale this up here and let's bring his eyes a little more, a little further apart here. And for the just the... Uh, the sake of it, let's go into object mode and let's go and make him some eyes. Let's press shift uh, or space here since we're in Blender 2.49. We're going to add a uh, UV sphere. And OK. Press tab to get into edit mode and immediately move it over. Make sure you move it over in edit mode so that we can apply a mirror modifier. Press RX90 to rotate it and then we're going to scale it down. Bring it over. Press 3 on your numpad to get in the side view here. 
Let's add a mirror modifier. Okay, let's bring this on the g-axis, on the y-axis just a little bit. Okay, now we're gonna do something to make uh, it look better. Let's go press three on our numpad to go into side view. Then we're gonna press B to box select, and we're gonna box select right about, um, let's say there. And we're gonna press Shift D, and we're gonna move it on the y-axis. Uh, let's make sure what we see. Okay, so we started our um, our line here. So uh, we're gonna wanna hold on. Just make sure where. Okay, so we're gonna wanna go to that line where we were, and we're gonna wanna box select everything outside that line, and press S Y negative one, press G Y, and move it into right about there. And then we're gonna select this here, and move this in. We'll press S Y just to make it bulge out a little bit more. Scale on the Y. Okay. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, add a little bit of a ridge there. Press L to select this because it's not because it's separated. Okay. <laughs> Looks kind of funny. But uh, let's go ahead and add a new material for this. Turn that material white. Add another material. Turn this. Uh, light grayish and then assign it to these so we can have a type of eye look so we're gonna select everything here and press RZ and just make them look look uh, straight RZ just to rotate okay let's bring this in a little bit right about there okay so that just gives us a basis to where the eyes will be Looks kind of like a chipmunk character right now, but <laughs> we'll fix that. Oops, I went into sculpt mode with the eye selected. So let's go and bring in the shape around the eyes here. Okay. So a good way to bring in the shape around the eyes, let's bring the multigress over here, is to just uh, kind of, whoops, too much strength there. Oops. Okay, just start uh, bringing in. Actually, for now, let's go ahead and just hide the eyes. But a good way to add eyelids is to just bring it in kind of like that. And we're not going to add eyelids because it'd be way too hard to do it right now since we're just going to re retopologize it later. Let's go ahead and smooth this out a little bit. Yeah, let's just go ahead and bring the eyes back in just so we can uh, get a little bit of character with our model and by the time we're done it'll look much better I'm gonna try and get a fairly neutral expression with him uh... okay um, I'm happy with the way this looks at the moment. Let's go ahead and just draw out some brows here. And maybe uh, a little bit more of the... of the, this bone here. Okay, so let's go ahead and add another level. Yeah, okay, so now let me show you guys how to get better looking lips. Or do I want to save that for the next part? Yes, I will. We'll just continue refining a little bit of with this here. So we'll go ahead. I'll stop I'll try and stop saying so as much as I do because I notice uh, I do say that quite a bit. It's gonna make I don't want him to look angry or anything. He looks very um, awkward right now. Um, okay, so that's it for this part, and be sure to watch the next part on this head sculpting tutorial. Alright guys, thanks.